what happens next? Well, we'll start treatment with radiotherapy and chemotherapy tablets. But um, you'll meet one of my oncology colleagues. You'll be able to explain that in more detail. And how often do you have to come in for treatment? Um, for a radiotherapy course, it requires you to come in every day for six weeks. And how ill will I be? Like, will I be able to do stuff? Um, most people tolerate low-dose radiotherapy well. Uh, but again, you're probably better asking the oncologist for details. But can I do things like go to work, look after my daughter? Yeah, darling, I can step up and do more, yeah? We all can, love, all right? Whatever you need. Well, as far as work goes, I mean, it really depends what you do. You don't need to work, Mum. No, I have to work. I want to keep things as normal as I can for my daughter until I die. Guys, I don't want to feel scared of saying that, OK? I don't want people pussyfooting around me and then pretending like it's not going to happen because it is, isn't it? I am going to die. How long have I got left? We can't say. Uh, we need to wait for the histology report. Uh, when that confirms what we're dealing with, we'll keep scanning to check how fast the tumour is growing. And all our efforts now are geared towards slowing that rate and keeping you well for longer. So you're trying to buy me more time, yeah? More time and better time. I want all the time you can give me, please. We're going to do our best for you. Ah, uh, yeah, I want to introduce Alex. Hi. One of our specialised brain tumour nurses. They'll see you on the ward here, but they'll also be down in oncology with you to, you know, support you through all this. So, do you have any uh, more questions for now? Then I'll leave you with your family. I am so proud of you. Sorry. I don't make me cry. I don't want to cry anymore. It's OK to cry, sweetheart. Listen, we're going to be with you every step of the way, right? <laughs> every step. Every step, though. <laughs> every step. <laughs> I promise. 